Hello everyone, in this video we will see how we can schedule tasks in Python with this schedule package. So by the way, I have the link down in the description, so let's check out how this works. So as you see right here in the documentation, first of all, we install schedule and then we can create a function called the job, which is basically the task we want to repeat every X seconds on or hours, etc. And this is how we do it. So first of all, again, we are defining the function we want to run repeatedly. We can use the schedule and we can say schedule for every 10. And then we specify what that 10 is. So it can be 10 seconds. It can be 10 minutes. It can be every hour. It doesn't have to be a specific hour or day. Or we can also say every five to 10 minutes. We can also specify um, I guess the day and what hour of the day should run or the minute and then specify the seconds as you see right here and yeah let's try it out so first of all let's go ahead and create a new folder let's name it scheduler and let's open terminal and open this in visual studio code and let's create a main.py script Okay, so let's copy from the documentation the example and paste it here. So let's go on terminal, new terminal, and let's say pip install selenium. Now, if you are not using Visual Studio Code, I guess what you can do is open normal terminal, do cd, and then your project folder, the location of your project folder. If you don't know how to find the project folder location, what you can do is cd, space, and then drag and drop your folder here and it will give you the project folder so it is that simple and then i guess run the command so pip install and then schedule okay so i'm using python 3.10.8 i guess this should work with versions as you see right here 3.6 3.7 3.8 and 3.9 this is what it is tested for. We will be running it today on 3.10. So if it runs normally in our version, it's will run normally in your version as well. And yeah, actually it's very easy as you see. So first of all, let's go ahead and try for every, and let's say five seconds, okay? So let's do a quick one so we know it works. And let me comment the other ones. There we go. And I guess a way better way to test it out is to print the time of it running. Print, and let's import the date time. There we go. And then let's print the date time right now. And then the date time after it runs. Actually, uh, we have done a mistake. What I should do is print the hour once we begin the script right here and then print the hour right here. There we go. Okay, so let's try it again. Okay, so now it's 125, so it should be 130 the next time. Um, actually, no, my mistake. Okay, no, it, it is correct. So, no, that's minutes. We did 5 seconds. So, as you see, first time it was 57. After 5 seconds, it is 02 and then 07. So, you see, it is running normally. So, for example, if we wanted to do every 5 minutes, what we will do is schedule dot every. Specify the amount of minutes, so 5. Specify that we want to do minutes. There we go. And then we say do the job. Now, what if we want to run it every five minutes, specifically at 30 seconds? Then we will, we will do dot minutes and then at. So we specify an exact amount of time. And here we can specify the seconds. So we can say 30 seconds do the job. Again, the same goes for, let's say, an hour or let's say a day. So 
what if we want to run it every three days at 11.30 so we can say schedule dot every and then we can say three days um, days now I want to mention something so first of all let's go through that so every three days and it should be like that at 11 30 do the job now as you will see here if we don't specify an amount right here instead of days we should do day and by default day is like saying right here every one days but i'm not sure if that works it should work but it's be way better to use this one right here so instead of days you can say day instead of minutes if you are using one minute then you will say minute right here as you see right here that's what you will use so you can say wednesday you can say monday and so on and so forth so what if we want to do something monthly so let's say every one month well then you can use the days right here and you can do that so for example you could say every 30 days which that is a month at a specific amount of time do that now if you haven't already noticed you can do multiple of those at the same time so for example i can have the same function run every 15 days or i can also have at the same time run the same function every let's say five um seconds okay so we can also do the b both of them at the same time now i haven't gone through this but what this does is every one second it runs anything on pending so basically every five seconds or every whatever we have specified here what this does is add the job in the pending in a pending array for example we don't really know what happens in the back end but we don't really care so what we do is we check if there is anything on pending right here with this function and we run it and we do that every second and yeah that's basically what this does right here you just check if it has anything on pending and it runs if it does so yeah you want that in order to everything else to work now what if we want one function to run every 15 days and another one to run every five seconds now it's really simple let's just create another function and we will say okay you run job one every 15 days and then we can specify this function right here job two every five seconds and that's all you have to do so yeah this is a really simple library which i really recommend so let's see when not to use this library so first of all you will not use it if you need a job persistence so for example if your system fails this will not save the script and rerun it after you for example restart your machine it will not remember it okay and another one is we cannot do an exact sub second now if you want to run a simple script you will probably not use an exact timing but if you want an exact timing to the second this is not a really a library to use and then concurrent execution so this will not work well with concurrent execution so multiple threads and then it doesn't work well with time zones now there is some other stuff that you should check so for example we have some other examples here and i think we have gone through all of them but it's better you check this documentation if you want a detailed documentation so what you can do here is use a decorator to schedule job or for example you can you can pass arguments to job you can pass arguments to this function right here as so let's see what else we can cancel a job 
and so we can have some if statements and if something doesn't happen or if something happens then delete the job or basically cancel it we can also run the job once we can also cancel all jobs we can get several jobs filtered by tags so basically what you can do is add a tag to your job and then using a function receive all the jobs that you have set okay so you can also run a job until a certain time so for example you can run the print boo and it will basically repeat it until a specific time that you have specified so you can run every hour until the hour of six and a half pm or am or you can run it until the end of the year every hour and etc etc so for example if we go back this is a useful one so i can run it for five seconds until um it, i can either specify daytime like so or let's go back so yeah we can specify daytime as so or i can specify a specific hour of the day so we could do something like that run every five seconds until the time is six and a half now it will take the date time of your machine so yeah have that in mind so whatever the time is on your machine this is the time it will use yeah we can also time until the next execution and some other stuff okay so you can check them out yourself as well again i'll have the documentation down in the description now it's specified before that this is not good for concurrent execution but at the same time they advertise that they can do parallel execution with threads so you see they're using threads so i guess it only works if you are using specifically the threading otherwise by default it's not supporting concurrent execution i guess that's it okay so yeah that's it for this video let me know down in the comments what you would like to see next and yeah with that said you can click right here and i'll have i'll specify a video most likely i'll show you a video i have done with the same thing with node.js using chrome tab so yeah, see you in that video and goodbye.